first year, had him bottle up, and then the third period was basically just holding on for dear life. Um, well, I mean, you don't you don't often get to play the number one team in the country. I mean, um, they're number one for a reason. They have a real good team. They're, with, they're extremely well coached. Um, you know, and, and uh, I, I thought for the most part it was a pretty even game. I thought for the first period, um, actually the first two periods, I thought we had some real good chances, and uh, I thought their goaltender played well. And then the third period, uh, I thought you know the momentum swung their way, and, and our goaltender played well. So it was a great game. What did you do for the first two periods that maybe bottled them up and went with those chances? Well, I mean, I, I thought I thought we were uh, we were finishing hits well. I thought we did a good job of uh, just not turning pucks over. Getting pucks deep against them. Um, in the first period, I thought we we got some offensive zone play going. I mean, I think we had three or four really good shifts of offensive zone play. Um, you know, and in, in the third period, they you know they just started quick up and everything and tipping it in our zone. And you know they, they were they were putting us making us play it deep. You know, and, and hey, they're a good hockey team. I think we have a good hockey team. It was a great hockey game. How big was it for you to get the first goal tonight? It's big in every game. Well, I think it was big for one reason because uh, you know we had up until that third period against Harvard, we had had we went through four periods we had eight shots and one goal, you know, and and it, and it would be easy to get frustrated. And that first period, I mean, we had one. I thought we could have gotten two or three in that period, um, but you know, it kind of wasn't going our way a little bit. But the the first goal was big for us just to get the first one, get on the board, kind of get our confidence. Just because you know we we've been getting a lot of opportunities and maybe not popping them, you know. How much do you view this as a statement game for the state of the program versus it's an important game, but just yet another conference game in the course of the season on the way to where you're going? It was an important game. You know, it, it's an important game on the national picture for the national tournament. That, that's that's why it's an, uh, you know, I think that's why maybe it, it meant something more than league. But, uh, but other than that, it, it was a league game, and it was a home league game. And home league games you have to take advantage of. Um, they certainly took advantage of us when we went down in their building, and we had to make sure we took advantage of them in, in our building. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it was a great win for our program. It's the first time in my career we've gotten to play the number one team in the country. But, uh, you know, equally important is how we perform tomorrow night, you know, um, because, you you know, we, we put together a good win. Now we have to back it up, you know. That, that's the way, the way they let down to tell these guys, you know, enjoy it while you can, but tell them tomorrow morning when you meet, you don't want, you don't want them to forget about it. Ah, we'll talk about that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, one of the things that seems to be doing better against the Ultras the second half is limiting their transition, and even the third is starting to dominate you guys a little bit. You still look really transition offense. Do you tell your guys to not do anything too fancy coming into the zone, things that might lead to turnovers a little bit more? You guys want to answer that question? Well, yeah, obviously we talked about making strong plays in the line, and I think in the when we were taking two down low a bit, we were doing that a lot better, getting pucks behind the feet. That was one of the big things for us that we worked on all week. So. Dan, that third period though, it seemed like you guys were maybe throwing the sticks too tight, you know, chipping the puck out as confidently maybe the first two periods. Was it just, was it, was it a little scary on that I don't think scary. I think we just kind of got away from finishing checks and getting pucks behind them. And I think, uh, um, like we were doing that in the first two periods, and we were really taking two down low and getting a lot of offensive play. And then uh, when we stopped doing that, we kind of got on our heels a little bit. But uh, um, we made a couple good games and kept us in the game. So. Dan, talk about the power play goals tonight. Two goals tonight. Obviously, you got shut out down there in December in the Orchard Open the Six. Uh, to get power play goal in the first opportunity to and maybe you know, set the tone for the game, how big was that for you and, and the people? Well, I think our power play, the key is for us to go out there and outwork them. And I think it, as a five man unit, when we're outworking them, that's when we're successful. And uh, at the like, it, we got a couple good chances there, and like that, the, the second goal especially, Wayno made a really good play off the wall, and Tiggs did a good job winning the face off to get that second one. That was really big for us. Chief, third period for you, shots thirteen to four. What was going through your mind uh, at that point? I just wanted to keep the boys in the game. You know, they they played well during two periods. You know, and Yell turned it off the second uh, third period. I just knew we could uh, hold on there. And get the win. Is there some satisfaction for? For you and the players, you know, to be able to come back and get some uh, revenge for the last time you played. Yeah, it feels great to have revenge. You know, they embarrassed us at uh, at Douglas, and it feels good with uh, to get the win here with our fans. You know, they support us very well, and uh, they made it a great game. 
immediately would have answered the question. What, what you have to do is, is, is to forget about this game, and now with Brown coming up uh, one, tomorrow night. Uh, you know, once it's a uh, locker, once we leave the locker room, it's all Brown. That's our main focus for tomorrow. Adam, for you, uh, to get that goal 40 seconds after the yard pulled it to 2-1, how big is that for the team's confidence? I think it's huge. Uh, just the next shift, you want to keep it simple and get a puck on the net. And Zajmi, I had a good, great look there, and I just wanted to get a puck on the net. And caught Rep Rondo when he was down a little bit, so and we just kept it simple and got a puck on the net and went in. Does it feel good for you? Because you, obviously you missed the last game because of the broken thumb, so, so for you to get, but eventually turn up to be a game-winning goal. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to sit out and watch, but uh, so when we get a chance, you know, I was ready to play, and I, I thought I'd been playing good lately, so I, it was nice to get rewarded with a with goal tonight. Did you recognize at the moment that the momentum was shifting after that goal? That you needed to respond quickly. Oh, well, I think anytime you know Yale you know, turn uh, gets a goal, the momentum's going to shift a little bit. Which is why we got to keep it simple after a goal and get pucks deep and just get them on net. So that's why I thought we did a good job right after the goal. Adam, good start for you guys tonight. Well, from your perspective in the locker room before the game or even after the pregame skate before you came out, what did you kind of sense from the team? Oh, uh, well, we just had our focus like it was any other team. Like we have a game plan, we want to stick to our game plan, and it was about us not about them, so we, we just kept focused and we kept getting pucks in deep, and we, we worked him along the walls there. I thought their goalie played good, and we could have had a couple more, but we just stayed after him, and we didn't let up. So we got, did a good job getting pucks to the net. Was there any bulletin board material that was provided by you that inspired you guys? What's that? Was there any bulletin board material that maybe inspired you guys from the L? Um, I mean, you don't really need anything to get, get up for this game, but, you know, always adds a little bit, I guess, if they're saying stuff in the papers, but, you know, we just got to ignore that and, and come out and play our best. You guys are now two in a row wearing your third jerseys. Good start for Yale. Any ideas for the next one of the next? The plan was to sell them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the plan, the plan right now is to sell them. But you bring up a good point, so we might be reconsidering. You know, we need you on the staff. <laughs> Dan, question for you: As a freshman, did you? Before choosing a college, did you like dream of playing games like this and a sold out crowd and coming into an atmosphere like this tonight? Well, yeah, obviously, uh, <coughs> being in a school like this, you, um, and see a rink like this, you get a sense of the atmosphere where it's going to be it's going to be a loud building with packed stands, and I think that's what you want when you come to college. And it's uh, here; it's kind of like a small field, it's kind of like a small college, and I think uh, like that building up there, that's an outstanding, outstanding place to play, and I think that's just a great experience. <coughs> and um, it's just a kind of a treat to be able to go out there with the building bumping like that. Do you expect to see these guys again? Yep. Yeah, hopefully. We, we all got set? a lot of work to do. <laughs> all set, guys? Yeah.